Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at Nightclub Series 2, issue number 3. Okay, so we are now in the third issue of the second series of Nightclub. Um, black and white cover again, really really nice. We saw last time uh, one of the vampires of heroes has been stabbed in the stomach and all the other people that he has um, been hanging out with over the last couple of weeks has all turned into vampires. And it turns out that was the plan all along. Um, he tries to escape. Um, but Pat, they, they, well, okay, one weird thing is they do seem to know an awful, the, the new guys seem to know an awful lot about being vampires for such a short amount of time of being vampires. Whereas it did say, I swear it said in the first issue that the, these, the, this lot have only just managed to um, turn to bats. But these all seem to know that that's a thing they can do and they seem to be very, very knowledgeable about it. And, they, and even so, that when these guys try to cross running water, he can't do it. It's like an invisible barrier there. And the bullies seem to know that, whereas the hero doesn't. Which again, maybe they've just done some research, whatever. Anyway, it turns out that it was a plan. Once they discovered he was a vampire, they basically thought, okay, this is how we're going to do it. They chained the guy up on the, on the um, top of the roof. And they put on motorcycle helmets because apparently they've you know, got masks and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, oh, we're just going to wait here and see what happens. And as, as the sun comes up, he, he burns. He completely just death destroys him. And it actually does apparently kill him. So one of the three characters are gone, is dead again. So this is middle, this is middleverse stuff. Let's say Magic Order seems to be, as far as I'm aware, go through characters quite frequently. This is three man uh superhero team and we've already got one in this in the second series it's like okay fair enough anyway his grandfather is kind of looking for him and can't find him obviously hasn't come back so he calls calls the other two kids in who are the other two heroes they can't find him either so they go and basically go and talk to the police and um they're talking about like okay yeah you must have known this person he was a friend of yours so no no don't worry you're talking about that so well every other time you've been up here talking to us you filmed it for youtube this time you're not. You're taking it more personally. So I, I assume this is someone you really kind of know. It's like, um, oh no, it's just for be disrespectful for the parents. It's, it's that's why we haven't kind of a missing persons case. We didn't do it. So they kind of flee and they realise that if they kind of like leak that leak out who was missing, they might figure out who the kids were, uh, um, at what school they were at. So anyway, just this kind of gives old school Spidey vibes. I really like it. It's very very cool. And um, they get to the roof, and they find. Oh no, so they get back to the club and the club has been completely ransacked. Um, even though apparently you can only get through the club via turn to a gaseous form. Um and uh they're told to go to the roof. As they get to the roof, they find the dead body of the of the vampire. And it's like, okay, that's no good. All the other vampire bullies turn up, again, in bat form. So they obviously they mastered that bloody quickly compared to the, the heroes. And there is a right old fight. Um and uh it does not go well. So the guy tries to turn to try, tries to turn to bat form, but the big guy apparently he's got some kind of mental control over, over the bats he turns into, and basically pulls him over to the uh, the the ground uh, the area and kind of reforms him back into human form. Sticks a stake straight through, or sticks a pipe straight through his chest. He's he's kind of apparently dead. We don't know if he's dead or not. Um, and then the lass is uh, kind of being psychologically bullied as this guy puts it by the uh the, the blonde ass and basically beats her up and because oh no i want to make her suffer and see what's going on so she can basically her two friends can be dead and she can see how much havoc we're going to cause um and they let, let her live um maybe that's going to be how the others are going to come back i don't know but i get the impression that miller is kind of almost playing it like apart from that one time maybe with big game where we had the hit girl uh time travel thing going on but i think most of the time if people st die in this they stay dead so maybe this is it anyway um oh we're actually saying that the hit girl thing Te technically speaking the entire first two, two issues was killing all the heroes off and they actually got put back in the time travel thing i don't see the vampire thing a bit dumb anyway done by that try travel so the bullies dash off and they're now going to take over the underworld. So obviously that so drug dealer guy that they dealt with in the first issue, they're probably going to try and um, do something against him and take over his kind of organisation or whatever. For some weird reason is a jungle there. They, they, they can do animals. I don't quite know what that's going on with that bum. But um, yeah, this is, a, again, this is a bloody good book. Um, it's got 
uh, Kick-Ass kind of vibes to it, which Kick-Ass was always like a kind of Spidey book. And it's got that kind of teenage hero, in, 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 invincible kind of thing to it. But it's also got that kind of horror kick, you know, vampires and all this kind of stuff. And again, it's this would have made a bloody good Vertigo book back in the day. This would have been perfect. Um, you know, New 52, we had I Vampire. If this had been our I Vampire had run, I'd have been quite chuffed. This had been really good. Um, but yeah, this makes me want to go and read the the first series of, of Nightclub. It was, you know, one of the things that had on my radar, but I never picked up because I'd buy other stuff at the time. But it uh, looks like I've got a fair few Millerverse trays to go and pick up if I can track them down. So there you go. Anyway, that's pretty much all I want to say about this one. So um, thanks for listening, and hopefully I will see you on another video very soon. Bye-bye.